they don't need to be on this street. This is a neighborhood where people live and pay to be in their houses. They own their houses and they don't want a crack house or a drug house on their road because it just causes a lot of problems. Here on Mackenzie Road behind me, several cop cars swarmed this very area this past weekend. In fact, eight cop cars were here on Saturday. But we spoke to a neighbor this morning who says this isn't the first time that this has happened. In fact, in just the past five days, about 16 cop cars have been by the surrounding area. Drugs being sold out of that house all the time. This isn't the, the first time this has happened. No, they were there Monday morning from about 1 a.m. till 4 a.m. There was eight cop cars, the canine, and they just sat outside and told them to come out with their hands up. Oh, repeatedly, I don't know whatever happened about that because nothing was ever said. So this was the previous week to this big standoff? It was on Monday morning early from 1 till 5, so five days before the Saturday. There's a lot of people in that house. I mean, on Saturday, they took out 10, and then there were more in the house that never came out, so of course you're gonna have a lot of police there. They had bags and bags and bags of garbage. Then they were made to clean it up. They put it in the back of an old pickup, and then the pickup was on fire. And then they had a motor home that had been there for a couple weeks that somebody was living in, and there was drama and people fighting, and then all the windows are smashed out of the motor home. It's just constant stuff going on at that house. They have come in our yard and stole property and went through vehicles because property was recovered there, not by the RCMP, but by people that have lived here. Just people coming and going all the time. And vehicles will park across the road by the cement wall. There'll be four or five vehicles there. They'll, in the summertime, have grocery carts and then they push them across the road and leave them laying there. There'll be anywhere from two to four to six grocery carts. There's garbage that they throw across the road. It's disgusting. Who knows what's going to happen? Are they going to wait till somebody gets murdered there to do something about it? For Cast That News, I'm Madison Hart in Kelowna.